Hi, welcome to this playlist. In this first video of the playlist, we'll take a closer look at how we can use Climate Studio in Grasshopper. So without any further ado, let's switch into our Rhino and Grasshopper screen. As you know, this is our Rhino and Grasshopper screen. This is my Climate Studio tab. And one thing that you can see in the Climate Studios uh, tab underneath it, you have CS workflow templates. and if you come over here and if you click, let's say, annual glare, it will create this analysis for you or bring that grasshopper file for you. You can also refer to its documentation, but we'll take things a bit slow in this very first video or in general in this playlist. So we come over to the climate. What we are going to see first is climate studio sample. And when we put this in, what we see immediately is the climate studios, uh, even in the same thing that we see in the Rhino screen. But this is a bit like working with a bit in a different uh, user interface. So it asks for a weather. As we do in Ladybug, we can search for weather here. And when we click search, it brings this. So we can put Madrid here as we did earlier. And then we can say download and when we download this it will take that madrid as my location right or i can come over here and then i can say madrid all right and then it's gonna ask us the north offset this is the same angle so we can put 0 to 360 okay center point is the center point in which you want to sorry this is the north offset center point is the center point that you would like to put uh, your sun path radius can be changed now it's 20 we can have 50 to make it larger month day and hour basically it days of the year so we can say okay how we see it 0 to or 1 to 12 as our month and the day is going to be 0 to 31st or 1 to 31st just to make sure we are covering almost every day in every month an hour let's say um, 0 to 23 and then put it in okay and if it's zero obviously we don't see any sun and when we don't see sun obviously we don't have this uh, like orange dot here and you see this is changing the month this is changing the hour day and this is changing the hour in the day so we can have it as such and the other thing that we can see here when we click settings we can see set location from latitude longitude and time zone if you want to change it you can change that you can say show sun rays meaning sun ray meaning it's gonna put the vector from the sun ground plane render ground plane turn it off turn this on uh, if you have something on the ground it's gonna do that shadows custom display mode let me put this in maybe i can draw something to just to give you an idea so uh sorry custom view meaning it will take our view and convert it or change it into CS shadows you can control this in Rhino as well. so that's how you basically create your uh, create your sun path in climate studio in grasshopper you can have like sun position based on the same thing you can have the like the solar vector but we already have it and we can always use it by extracting it from the sun path component we can have like CS UTCI calculator. We can calculate the UTCI by having the like information from our weather data as we did in Climate Studio. So if we come to the weather here, we see the location, let's say Madrid. We can pull out the temperature or every other thing that is needed to be put for UTCI and if you click here you will see that a lot of different options are popping up so 
Most of the Climate Studio component says this thing, so be careful as you work through this, okay? And again, like you see, in, even in our sun path, we can have like day labels, day curves for the output, compass curves, compass arcs, so and so forth. And we can always turn this off, like annual sun path arcs, we can preview that off. Or we can like, I don't know, uh, we can turn off the compass. Again, it's completely up to you. And that's like basically it for the very first, uh, very first video from the Climate Studio and its applications in Grasshopper. So I'll see you in the. Let me show you this one. I'll see you in the next one where we take a closer look at how we uh, use other Climate Studio applications or functions within Grasshopper. So I'll see you in the next one.